Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change document properties. Let's get started. So I opened up a blank workbook and whenever you do that, it's going to create some document properties for you. Uh, this is also a question in the Microsoft Office specialist exam, in most cases anyway. And so it's something that you're definitely going to want to know how to do for your uh, Excel workbooks. And so your document properties are located in the File tab, which is your backstage menu. And if you click on File right here, you're going to see the properties are listed over over on the right side. It shows you your file size. Obviously your file size will be a lot larger if your workbook is larger. It shows you a place to put your document title, tags, category. Now you could fill in any of these and if you put in a title here it's not going to add a title back here but this is just for the properties of the document. So certain websites will read this as a document title, things like that. Uh, tags, category, same sort of thing. Down here you'll also see when it start when you uh, first started your document as, or uh, sorry when you last modified it as well as when you first started it which will be your created date and then down here you will also see related people. Related people are typically the author which is yourself so this will display your name if it's your own computer um, and then down here you could actually add it in an author as well so if I click down here and I type in my name and press enter uh, you will see that in just a second here. There we go. It added in myself as the author. All right, so uh, that's another thing you can do. You could also add in a manager down here if you want the manager to be an author for your business as well. Uh, next up down here, you could actually show all of your properties. And this will display a little bit more like your comments and uh, hyperlink base and a little bit more properties for you to work with. If you do want to see every property on a pop-up dialog box, you could go right here and click Advanced Properties, and this will open up every possible property. Uh, a lot of the ones we've already seen, as well as some general uh, settings, or de general properties for your computer, or for this file rather, and then statistics related to the file, contents, and custom as well. So you could actually add in your own properties uh, to your workbooks as well. So that is everything to do with the document properties pane. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about how to enter in properties. Again, all you have to do is go to File, Backstage, click, and start typing. Um, if you have any questions about this, please put it in the comment section and I'll do my best to uh, help you out. And if this video was helpful, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and have a great rest of your day.